we left Athens and our first site was at uh, Midia, which was a uh, Mycenaean uh, citadel in the Argolid. It was our first introduction to Cyclope Cyclopean masonry, which was cool to see. Uh, it was really windy out though, so us with long hair, it's kind of a bummer. But then we uh, headed over to Dendra, which is the cemetery for the settlement at Nidia. And that was interesting. We saw a lot of, we saw Bolo's tombs, we saw shaft graves, we saw, no, chamber tombs, we saw tumuli, um, there's a horse skeleton there, it was pretty cool. The whole site smelled really bad though, which is kind of annoying, especially since we were eating lunch there. But, uh, yeah, I don't know how much to say about that. So after that, we went to Terence, which is one of the, uh, which is the second uh, most important Mycenaean palace uh, next to My Mycenae, of course. And uh, at Terence, we saw our first examples of huge uh, wall circuits that the Mycenaeans uh, employed widely for their palaces. And we saw many, many gateways uh, leading up to the big central court and uh, two Megaron uh, chambers that. Uh, possibly were used by maybe different tiers of government. We don't really know what the second Megalon was used for, but that's something we could definitely think about. Uh, then we went to the... Cemetery. Here in the cemetery, yeah. Um, we walked into a fellow's tomb, which is cool. Um, and we also got to see what an unexcavated fellow's tomb looks like, which is also cool. Then we went to the Dam of Tyrans, uh, and we first-hand saw the masonry that would have lined the uh, walls of the dam that led out to the sea, which was very, very cool to see. And just to imagine how much manpower it would have taken, uh, what kind of political structure there might have been that could employ that much manpower was interesting to think about. And we end our day at Nathion. Yay, Nathion. It's a beautiful place, right? I'm look, we're looking forward to our free day. I think it's hard to so. Yeah. Catch you guys later. See you. Bye.